In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to rotate and crop a PDF document. A lot of times if you're scanning a book on a flatbed scanner, it's hard to get it positioned correctly. So uh, luckily, Adobe Acrobat Pro has some uh, tools that will let us fix it. So first we want to uh, open the document in Adobe Acrobat Pro, and I did that by control clicking on it. So here's my document. If I scan through it, you see some of these pages aren't rotated correctly. So the way that I'm going to fix that, first I'm going to go to Tools, then click on Recognize Text, then click on In This File, uh, say uh, All Pages, and what this is going to do is scan each the text on each page and try and uh, reorient it if it's if it's slanted. So I'll click OK. You can see it working. It's saying that it's uh, rotating the pages. Okay, so I'm going to let that work for a second. Okay, so that process has completed. Uh, if I go through now, I see most of these pages are oriented a little better. Uh, there's still a few that are off. Don't worry about that. I'm going to show you in a minute how you can fix that. So next step, I want to uh, crop our pages. So I'm going to cut off some of the stuff around the border. The way I do that is click on Pages, Crop, and when you're doing this, uh, you might want to leave a little extra room because not all the pages are going to be uh, centered in the same way. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger than it needs to. And click Enter once you've selected a region. And I'm going to say that I want to apply this to all of the pages. And click OK. So what happened there is uh, you see it cropped, it applied that uh, uh, rectangle that I drew to every page. Now, now that I've done that, now that I've cut off the sides, I can go back to that file that was a little off center. And let's try it one more time. Uh, again, clicking Recognize Text uh, in this file for the current page. Click OK. OK, so now that we've gotten rid of the border, um, it's recognizing the text a little better, and you can see that it's oriented it correctly. Now the last thing I want to do is save my file. Uh, if I save this as it is right now, this is about a 40-page document. It'll probably be anywhere between 10 and 20 megabytes. I want to try to get it as small as I can if I'm going to be distributing this. So I'm going to go up to File, Save As, and Reduce Size PDF will make it smaller, but Optimized PDF will make it even smaller than that. So I'll click Optimized PDF. And uh, you'll have a few different settings. Mobile is probably going to be the smallest. So if you choose the mobile setting and click OK, uh, it's prompting me to rename it. I'll just call this smaller PDF, uh, put it on the desktop, and click Save. OK, so it's finished converting it to a smaller file size. Uh, now I can click on it on my desktop, preview to open it, and you can see all the pages are centered and I've cropped off all that uh, messy stuff around the border. Looks good.